If you want your limited time Violet Proto Drake, you can't miss the Children's Week event. This one week event runs from May 2nd to May 9th, starting from the Orphan Matron NPCs. You'll have to complete five quick achievements to get your matron title and cute limited time pets. And so here's the quickest possible way to get these achievements done for your Violet Proto Drake. Don't forget my written guide below the video with a checklist and step by step instructions. To get started, we need to head to one of the four NPCs to get an Orphan Whistle. With this whistle, you can summon your orphan and complete the five different achievements. There's three different orphan types and three quest chains per faction, but you only need to complete one of the quest chains to get your Violet Proto Drake. Though if you do want to 100% the event, you can technically help an orphan from each NPC for extra pets. Most Alliance players will start at Matron Nightingale and Stormwind to get a human. You'll get a whistle which will summon your orphan and you'll need to make sure he's always summoned for each step. You'll need to take your little orphan Randus to the Darnassus Bank, the dam at Loch Modan, and the lighthouse in the southwest of Westfall. Then take your orphan to buy ice cream from Amethus Males and Stormwind, and then portal or boat ride to Theramore to talk to Jaina and get her autograph. Finally, you have to go back to Matron Nightingale to get your choice of a piglet, a rat, or a turtle. If you turn the quest in, you're going to lose your orphan whistle, but you can talk to the orphan matron again to get another one. Meanwhile, if you're Horde, head to Orphan Matron Battle Whale and Orgrimmar to get an orc. You'll need to take little orphan Grunth to the end of the Ratchet Docks, the Morshan Rampart north of the Baron and the Lordaeron Throne Room, which is right above the elevator. Then it's time to get ice cream from Aloysius the Zervik and Karen's Hoofprint, which entails talking to Karen in Thunder Bluff. Then just head back to Matron Battle Whale. If you want to help a less popular orphan, Matron Mercy in Shatrath is also an option. She'll give you a Drain Eye for Alliance or a Blood Elf for Horde. Your reward for completing this question will either be a Hawk Strider, a Pet Elec, or a Pet Willy. Alliance need to take their orphan to the Dark Portal, the Ring of Observance in Terracar, and Eris Landing in Negran to talk to Geo. Afterwards, head to the middle of Caverns of Time, and stand near Zaladormu, and then buy a toy dragon from Alurmi closer to the entrance tunnel. Then finally, portal to Exodar and look for Oros at the bottom area. Then go up to the Shaman Trainer Farseer Nobundu. Now you can finally go back to Matron Mercy to get your pet reward. Horde, on the other hand, will visit the Dark Portal and then Sporagar and Zangarmarsh. Just make sure to talk to Hichu. Then you'll have to go to the Throne of Elements to talk to Elementalist Sharvak. After that, visit the Caverns of Time by portaling from Dalaran. Just stand in front of Zaladormu and afterwards buy the toy dragon. Finally, you can go to the Walk of Elders in Silvermoon to the elite Taran chieftains. Then you can go back to Matron Mercy to turn in the quest chain. If none of these orphans are doing it for you, you can also head to Matron Arya and Dalaran. You get to choose between a Wolvar or an Oracle Orphan. The Wolvar Orphan questline rewards you with a Wolvar Pup, while the Oracle questline rewards you with an Oracle Hatchling. A step one, head to Grizzlemaw. Then the Oracles will head to Winterfen Retreat in Borean Tundra. Or if you have a Wolvar, head to Snowfall Glade in Moraki Harbor. Then head to the Bronze Dragon Shrine northeast of Wormrest Temple. The follow-up quest will take the Oracles to the Shaper's Terrace to talk to Adamidian. While the Wolvar visit Hemet Nessingwary at his base camp. Then go to the top of Wormrest Temple to meet Alex Straza. Then finally head to the Wonder Works and buy a small paper Zeppelin and throw it at your orphan so we can go back to Matron Arya to get our reward. After finishing one or all of these quest lines, you'll have the Awe Isn't It Cute achievement, so only four achievements left. For achievement number two, just hearth in front of your orphan and you'll get the Home Alone achievement. Two down, three to go. Daily chores is next. You'll have to do five dailies with your orphan out. These can be done over the course of multiple days, so I'm just doing the fishing daily. Other good options include the cooking daily, jewel crafting, daily heroic, or argent tournament dailies. For hail to the king, baby, you need to get a group for Utgard Pinnacle and then kill King Ymiron with your orphan out. This can be done in both heroic or non-heroic modes. Our last achievement is easy. It's called Bad Example. You can just buy the sweets and eat them in front of your orphan. First, go to the ice cream vendor in Orgrimmar or Stormwind to get some ice cream. Then buy a tasty cupcake and a delicious chocolate cake on the auction house. Or you can cook them yourself, and yes, you you can make tons of gold farming eggs like you could in my Winter Vale video. Then head to Amy and Dalaran and buy a brownie, a donut, a red velvet cupcake, and a lovely cake. The cake has to be right clicked in place on the ground. Then you can click it again and get a slice and eat it. Congratulations, you've now gotten the matron title and you're one step closer to your Violet Proto Drake. You clearly know how to maximize your fun, but do you know how to take full advantage of Phase 3? Check out my video on the 5 ways to get the most out of Phase 3 next. Click it.